वेलकम टू माई चैनल एंड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड लाइक टू विश यू अ वेरी वेरी हैप्पी एंड प्रॉस्परस न्यू ईयर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर एंड आई मीन दिस इज द क्विक रिविजन और यू नो द सजेशंस ऑफ बिजनेस एथिक्स एंड सी एस आर ऑफ एम सी ओ ट्वेंटी फोर विच इज इन फैक्ट द लास्ट एग्जाम ऑफ दिस डिसम्बर टी ई एंड लेट सी लाइक वॉट आर द इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स that uh, you should revise in this particular chapter and as we know that uh, there are uh, you know uh, very uh, it's a new topic and uh, there are not much uh, previous uh, years question paper and all that so anyway like uh, i have prepared this these are all the important topics uh, like uh, 14 units are there which we will cover in this particular video <coughs> okay so friends uh, let's start with uh, unit 1 business ethics and overview and let's see uh, like uh, what are the important questions that you should uh, revise now the first question is uh, what is business ethics and state its nature characteristics and uh, its importance in business management so this topic uh, now as we know like uh, business ethics are the moral principles that uh, you know that act as a guidelines Uh, for the way the business conduct itself uh, and uh, they help to you know to do business properly and these are few important characteristics of business ethics like uh, uh, the social values uh, that we have uh, basic guidelines which governs the business and it tells us about the human behavior and uh, the code of conduct like uh, the business should be conducted on some ethical principles and uh, it should also govern the science and art of business and uh, the business firm should have or should know the responsibility towards the society and uh, when we talk about the roles there are different roles of business ethics like uh, it has roles in finance then uh, human resource management uh, management and uh, then we have uh, Uh, in marketing in production so there are various roles i have just specified here four roles uh, then uh, one more question that you should revise here the difference between law and ethics so this question is also very important one okay uh, let's see unit 2 unit 2 is on concept and theories of business ethics now here uh, you will uh, surely get one question from here and here like uh, the traditional business ethics theory i think you should revise this uh, this uh, traditional theory again classified into two classes uh, teleology and deontology so uh, all this like these two theories its characteristics and uh, their uh, assumptions so all these needs to be revised uh, when we talk about unit 3 it is ethical dilemmas and here you should know like uh, a uh, lean pains moral compass for decision making and uh, <clears throat> as we know that uh, this uh, lean pr uh, moral principles are of uh, you know divided into four types or four frames so this is what uh, you need to you know write in this answer then we have uh, one more question from here that is uh, kidder's ethical checkpoints so this question also you can get it in the exams uh unit 4 unit 4 is ethics in business and here uh, what are the important general factors that influence business ethics so like all these are ethical uh, factors that affect the business ethics like personal code of ethics uh, then we have legislation leadership uh, government rules and regulations uh, number 5 ethical code of the company what are the ethical code and uh, what on what terms what ethical terms the company runs its business then social pressures and uh, lastly ethical climate of the industry as a whole in the country so all these factors influence the business ethics and this needs to be explained properly okay uh, the next question that you should uh, give focus on is uh, briefly describe the various internal and external factors that influence uh business ethics now here again these uh, internal factors are divided into three types uh, like uh, we have uh, em employees and managers and uh, second one is money and resources and uh, company culture so 
uh, all these factors belong to inside working of the company that means company ke andar hi hote hain they are more or less controllable by the company but external factors they are uncontrollable and uh, these are again divided into three types like economy then customers and suppliers or bankers and uh, political parties and government policies so these are external factors which influence the business ethics and they are generally out of control so the business firm has to follow these uh, factors uh, unit 5 unit 5 csr and overview and here you should revise this question uh, what do you understand by csr why it is important and also explain the different types of csr as we know corporate social responsibility refers to protecting the interest of the society and when we talk about its importance ki why this is important <coughs> uh, in fact ye bahut hi important hota hai koi bhi society ke liye koi bhi ek business firm ke liye bhi kyunki yahan pe you know it improves customers perception ek long term uh, business ke liye you sh- a-, a company should be responsible to the society very important one and it attracts and retain the employees bar bar change nahi karte employees company mein wo log kafi time tak kaam karte hain so for that it should be you know uh, it should recognize the csr principle and uh, it also increases the appeal to the investors that means investors will try to invest more if a company is more uh, you know uh, more serious more concerned about the csr now these are the different types of csr uh, like environmental csr then we have philanthropy uh, csr and we have ethical labor practice and the volunteering so these are the four types of csr that is commonly practiced by the companies okay uh, let's move on to unit 6 business strategy uh, in csr and here you should revise this one explain the different approaches to csr strategy uh, so these are basically the four types of strategy which are given in your syllabus the first one is uh, reducing the cost and risk so this is one strategy that should be used for csr and uh, then like the company should try to you know uh, to to acquire competitive advantage over competitors so that should be the second strategy uh, the third one should be developing the reputation and goodwill of the company and the fourth one creating values uh, for the stakeholders so that you know they feel interested they feel more attracted towards investing more in the companies so these points you can revise uh, unit 7 unit 7 is uh, here from this unit uh, you can revise this question briefly explain the present perspective of csr in international business and the distinction between classical and modern perspective of csr so the present trend of csr in international <coughs> business Uh, like uh, you know foreign companies and uh, foreign government they are very much you know uh, very much concerned about this csr because they know that uh, if a business is going to survive in the long term so it should pay more attention to csr but here also like in india like a uh, lot of companies have started uh, giving more attention to this and uh, these are uh, the two different uh, you know uh, the perspective like one is a classical perspective Uh, which uh, basically uh, you know focuses on maximizing profit but now that has been changed the perspective has been changed and this is the modern perspective where the business firm now gives more attention to the society okay the next question from this unit how csr has helped to achieve sustainable development goals sdg again a very important question because we know that what is the importance of sustainable development in a country and in fact for a company as a whole so <clears throat> this question you should revise for the exam uh, one more question from this unit uh, write the contribution of india towards achieving uh, sdg uh, through csr and also highlight the important issues uh, which are solved by csr so this question also should be revised uh, by you okay uh, unit 8 business ethics and csr linkages and here the different perspectives of business ethics like uh, 
here i have mentioned here like personal and business ethics moral and non moral standards then we have business ethics and professional codes so these six types of ethics uh, can be described uh, one more question ki what is this csr and explain the various types of corporate social responsibilities of a business and uh, like uh, these are all the important uh, lines or keywords or key sentences you can write in csr and uh, about its uh, issues in csr the ethical issues and csr like uh, preventing the child labor then uh, this uh, like stopping this discrimination on the basis of race caste culture religion then maintaining safety at the workplace then you know recognizing the legal uh, responsibilities and uh, protecting the cyber crimes uh, violation of privacy bribery fraud so all those things should be controlled uh, the different types of ethical responsibilities of of a business like uh, it has uh, you know a business should be responsible towards the environment it should be responsible towards the customer safety it should manufacture good quality of goods and services that increases the responsible uh, that increases the reputation of the company and you know safety in the working environment so all these uh, points needs to be expanded uh, unit 9 is on corporate responsibilities in indian context and from here explain the different phases of uh, development of csr in india now these phases can be divided into four four types the first one phase that is uh, basically uh, the main base or uh, it was driven by charity and philanthropy so this phase lasted from 1850 to 1914 uh, uh, when india was under the british rule uh, then phase 2 it starts from 1940 to 60 and uh, it was driven by social development like the india a uh, focuses on the social development of the country at phase 3 again 1960 to 80 and here like uh, uh, more attention was given to the mixed economy and uh, phase 4 is an interface between philanthropic and business approaches which lasted from 1980 till the present age Uh, one more question that you can revise from this that is the current trend and practices of csr in india so <clears throat> uh, let's see unit 10 unit 10 from unit 10 you should revise this one applicability of csr provisions and activities listed under the schedule 7 again a very very important question and here like uh, all these csr responsibilities and provisions are given here it's a long list which is issued by the government of india and uh, generally lot of companies follows all these rules and again uh, this question write a short note on the duties and responsibilities of csr committee and the board as we know that the government has formed a, a csr committee and board and it looks after the social responsibility and ethical practices of business firms so the main provisions of these uh, com- committees their responsibilities so that should be mentioned uh, one more important question on social audit and its important features so this question also should be revised uh, let's move on to unit 12 unit 12 is uh, from unit 12 uh, what is the rationale behind csr reporting now here it is based on reporting and explain the different steps involved in the reporting and the different techniques of reporting so this is the rational why this uh, reporting is important and uh, uh, these are the different processes of csr reporting like you should mention the important object in the report object of the company then uh, the available resources then identifying the target groups i mean the stakeholders then uh, <clears throat> method definition and uh, when we talk about the techniques of reporting again uh, it should uh, mention the uh, the frameworks the legal frameworks the standards on which the reporting should be made the ratings uh, so like that uh, again a important question on brr that is business responsibility reporting and again uh, this is uh, this report is divided into three parts that is uh, part a where the basic information are given 
uh, about the business firms. Uh, in part B, the basic principles of the business firms are given. So uh, there is a long list in fact. And in part C, consequences and improvement. So these uh, four parts should be, uh, you know, expanded. Uh, the next question from this unit is, what is the nature and scope of CSR audit? And explain and uh, the procedures of conducting CSR audit and how like these auditors are appointed. So when we talk about the nature and scope, so these are the important scopes of CSR audit and uh, this audit procedure how the auditors uh, you know do the uh, auditing of CSR and how these auditors are selected their qualification so all these things uh, should be mentioned here okay uh, the next unit uh, in fact it is uh, the second last uh, unit 13 roles and responsibilities of CSR department and here this question activities specified in schedule 7 on CSR Again, you know, a long list <coughs> here, the government has given a long, you know, a long uh, list of the activities that should be followed by each company while, you know, uh, while doing the CSR responsibilities. Then uh, the different functions and responsibilities of the CSR board, uh, the last unit, unit 14, CSR and sustainable development. And from here, you should revise this question. What do you understand by the concept of sustainable development and how CSR helps to achieve sustainable development? Very important question. And uh, <clears throat> let's see uh, like uh, one more question from here. That is uh, a short note on table that is a triple bottom line approach. So this question you can get in get it in the short notes. Uh, then we have <clears throat> a short note on hierarchical a hierarchical uh, model of CSR and uh, this question is also uh, a very important one you should revise for the exam so friends uh, these are few important questions uh, that you should revise for the exams and uh, I hope you will uh, get all these questions and uh, a very best of luck for the exam thank you very much for watching this video